is a text in the scripture that I think I can do something. Come on, preacher. Something with. Uh huh. I value this month. Yes. Oh, I like this one, y'all. Oh yes. New self purpose. The purpose God had in mind yes. when he created me for his good, mm. uh, yes. which gives me the capacity yes. to find purpose uh -huh. and good in everything in life. Uh -huh. That's where it's all at. Yes. Everything in life, including my problems. Knowing that all things work together yes. for good when I love God and obey His calling in my life. Yes. Romans chapter 8. Familiar passage of scripture. Yes. Most of us can quote verse number 28. And I'm going to start at verse number 26. Okay. Because verse number 28 really is the middle of a thought. That's right. It's not the climax of the text. Yeah, yeah. It's really the middle of a thought. Verse number 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what what we should pray for as we are. I'm reading from the New King Things Version. Right. Okay. But the Spirit Himself makes intercessions for us oh, yes. with groanings which yes. cannot be uttered. Yeah. Yeah. Now he who searches the heart mm -hmm. knows what is what the mind of the Spirit is. Because he makes intercessions for the saints according to the will of God. All right. And we no. know uh -huh. that all things all right. work together uh -huh. for good yes. to those who love God. Yes. To those who are the call according to his purpose. This morning, I want to try my best to work from the subject and ask you to do something for me. I want you to do this for me. Uh, for this topic. The topic I'm going to use this morning is Act like you know. Act like you know. He says, and we know. That's the text, That all things work together for good for them that love God and called according to to his purpose. Yes, so my challenge to you this morning uh -huh. is that you act like you know. Well. In the midst of your problem, Come on. act like you know. Uh -huh. When things are going well, yes. act like yeah. you know. When all the money is flowing and everything is good, well, act like you know. You know. Uh -huh. Whenever, 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 whenever folk are talking about you and lying on you, uh -huh. act like, act like you know. You know. Uh -huh. uh, let me give you just a little background and I'll set this thing because I know I have to. Romans is a fascinating book to me. Yes. Romans is a dialogue that Paul is having. Uh, with the church in the form of writing. Chapter 1, he tells the, G the Gentiles that you are uh, in sin yeah. because you should know about God. You should acknowledge who God is. 
Simplify the things that God's done just by the universe. And then uh, uh, chapter 2, he comes and he said, tell the Jews, uh, you are without excuse. Yeah. You had the prophets and you had all of these. Right. Uh, and yet still, you are in sin and in need of the Savior. Break down. Chapter 3, he comes back and he says, for all yeah. have yeah. sinned yeah. and fallen short of the glory yeah. of God. Yeah. Says that not, not, not just one of y'all be the Savior, but all be a Savior. No matter what your background is, you need a Savior. No matter whether uh, you are Jew or Gentile, you, are, you need a Savior. And the truth of the matter is, uh, all have sinned. So you all not look down your nose at somebody else because of their sin. Because we all have sinned. Romans chapter 4, he comes along and he said, tells uh, those Jews, uh, uh, don't worry about it. I know you got some issues and I know you're worried about the fact that you ought to have a special privilege because uh, you are Abraham's seed. Right. And he says, well, the problem is uh, you forgot what Abraham really, really, really loved God for. And you forgot that Abraham was really uh, counted uh, uh, as faithful because of his faith. Uh, he was imputed righteousness because he believed God. All right? And so it wasn't, had nothing to do with circumcision. Had nothing to do with the law. It was all about the fact that he believed God. Then Romans chapter 5, he comes and says, uh, we're all justified by faith. Uh, not by the law, but we're all justified by faith. And then he comes to chapter 6 and says, uh, uh, I know some of y'all are sitting there thinking, uh, can we just do whatever we want to do because we have faith? No, he says, no, 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 no. Uh, check verse number, chapter 6 and verse number 1, it says, uh, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid, how can we live any longer therein when we are dead to it? And then he comes to chapter 7 is what I, oh, I love chapter 7. Yeah. Chapter 7, he comes and he tells those Jews, you got a right to marry another. Yeah. All right? Are you married to the law? But the law has been nailed to the cross. And the law is dead now. And now you can marry another, which is grace and mercy. And then he comes and says, uh, says for y'all who are trying to try to live a life uh, based on the law, and you're trying to live a uh, uh, hold on to the law, he says, let me tell you a little bit about my problem with the law. He says, he says, he says, uh, I got this issue that's going on with me. He says, my members are going to do something, uh, but my mind is saying something different. Uh. He says, when I would do good, uh, evil is always present. He says, I find another law working in me. Uh, my mind willing to serve God, uh, while my members, my members uh, are doing something totally different. Uh. Then he says, then he says, I, I found myself in such a bad place. Uh, No. 
changed. And therefore, there's no condemnation uh, within me because why? I don't walk after the flesh no more. Uh, I walk after the spirit. Uh, and therefore, you can bring my past uh, all you want. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I've been changed. Yes, I may fall every now and again.
they got help.
the mindset that one should have after understanding yeah. Romans 8, 26 yeah. and 27. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Right, right. Ah. Oh, uh, Abraham takes Isaac and put Isaac. 
hear Abraham say, uh, from this day on, uh, this place will be called uh, Jehovah's Child. The Lord will provide. I stop by to tell somebody, uh, you got to act like you know. Uh, whenever you and your issues act like you know, that it's going to work out. Uh, act like you know uh, that it's working for your good. Uh, act like you know. Chapter 38. Uh -huh. All right, because chapter 38 
meat is the essence of the whole story. That's it. But sometimes we're going to miss it. Yeah. Do y'all know? Can I just talk this for real quick? Yeah. I mean, God, I think I just got to help us. Don't you, do you not know that Joseph was able to go through what he went through yeah. simply because yeah. he had to go through it for his brother? That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. God didn't save, save, didn't, didn't save uh, Joseph from the pit, pit from the pit, right. All right, for himself. Yeah. God didn't, didn't save Joseph from the prison for himself. God didn't save God. God didn't take Joseph from the pit to the pit, to the palace for himself. He did simply because uh, the famine was getting ready to come, and he had to get Joseph uh, in place uh, to save. To save Judah. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all look at me like, what in the world is Judah? Judah was his older brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Judah was his older brother. Yeah. All right? And what's the point? What's the point? What's the point of Judah? Judah was the one that who the Messiah, the seed, would come through. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And so if a family is going to happen, uh, uh, before we're going to be going to die,
you know. Yeah. And when you act like you know, you're going to handle yourself in a whole That's right. uh -huh. different way. Yeah. When you walk on that job, you ought to have to be, that, ought to be, that ought to be a radiance about you. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's right. I don't care what's going on. That's that's right. There ought to be a radiance about you. Uh -huh. Because you are a child of God. That's that's right. Right. And you know that things are working out for your good. Yeah. All right? And you know what? And, and because that you're in my circle, uh -huh. ooh -wee. you wonder why you're being blessed. You know, you're not going to say, who I was blessed. I don't even know where I came from. Uh -huh. Well, just because you're in the presence of a child of God yeah. who stays in the presence of the Almighty God, yeah. Yeah. and as the Lord begins to bless you, y'all yeah. remember that text? We read that text when the, 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 that text when, G, when, the, when the woman came to Jesus uh -huh. and she began to, she had a, a daughter, a daughter who was who was uh, 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 was demon possessed, yeah. and she yeah. came to Jesus. And she began to ask Jesus uh, to, to heal her daughter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the disciples, they was all looking all crazy. Y'all remember yeah, that text? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and then he says, it's not good uh, for us to give the blessings and all the, for, the, for, for, the blessings uh, uh, to the dog. Y'all remember that? Y'all yeah. uh, remember, remember that? Yeah. Uh, what did she, what did the woman say? Not this woman. So she, yeah. she says, even the dogs uh -huh. eat the crumbs of the heart from the table. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. You know it's enough power in the crown. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. yes. 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 Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes. Oh. Yes. But, but now the, the Lord can do more with a crumb yes. than you can do with a whole dinner. That's right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And, and see, see, what you gotta understand is when God is feeding you, all right, sometimes, many times, uh, our blessings overflow. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And when our blessings overflow, yeah. Uh -huh. Then those around us uh, begin to get blessed because yes, our blessings are overflowing. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Our blessings are overflowing. Yeah, yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Right. Right. And because our blessings are overflowing, all right, they begin to get blessed, and they don't know why they get blessed. And then all of a sudden, you want my folks and you walk around, walk around. Walk around. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All I know is every time I'm around here, something good happens. Yeah. Yeah. You get tired, you get tired of me. Yes, you get tired of me. I always call y'all before I get. I hate to look at some people, get some meat, get some meat. You know, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Y'all get mad, all right, because they want to hang around. All right, all they see is blessings. That's it, that's it. And then God will give you the opportunity well, to teach them. That's it, that's it, that's it, good. That's the whole thing. That's it. So I like, like, you know, I wasn't supposed to preach at all today. Uh, but act like you're not. Yes. If you're here, yes. and you're not a child of God, yes. you come by hearing the word of God. Yes. Hearing how Jesus came to heaven. Uh -huh. How he died on the rugged cross. How he was buried in the bottom of the How he rose the third day. Yes, sir. And then when you hear that, you must believe that. All right? You must, you must believe that that you heard. Then you must repent of your sin. Repentance means to turn from and turn to. Means a change of behavior, a change of mind, a change of attitude. All right? After you repent of your sins, you must confess Christ to the Son of God. Be willing to go down to the front and get the baptism for the bishop's sins. Then the Lord will ask you to his church with Jesus' body. And when you do that, then you just begin to work it out one day at a time. Yes. One day at a time. Right. Not, don't, don't try to get no hurry. That's right. Just work it out one day at a time. Mm. All right? One of the things that happens in new converts is they get discouraged. That's right. They get discouraged because things are not changing as fast as they want them to change. All right? But hey, just keep working. Keep working. Keep going. Keep studying. And keep working toward it, and things will begin to change. You will begin to see a new view. That's right. It's just like working out. It's just like, it's just like working out. Okay? You're not going to get in shape by just going to the gym right. for 20 minutes. Uh, I mean, for an hour and a half, one day. That's right. That's right. And then not go anymore. Right. No. Hey, just go 30 minutes every day. That's it. Yeah. And be consistent doing that sure. every day. Yeah. yeah. And then the first day you look in the mirror, you still gonna look the same. Am I right? Yeah. Or wrong? yeah. The second day you gonna still look the same. Uh -huh. 
All right, the first week you may still look the same. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, and then by that third week, all of a sudden you still look the same, but don't feel the same. Well, yeah. 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 And then after a while, that gives you a little bit more confidence to keep going, don't you? Right. Then all of a sudden, somebody, then all of a sudden, people begin to see what you've been doing. What, that you've that you lost some weight and you're in better shape. Yes. Even before you see. Yeah. Yeah. Because you see yourself every day. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But all of a sudden, they begin to see you. They start saying, Ooh, baby, you look like you lose some weight. Yeah. Like my grandma, my mama was saying, baby, you look like you like the britches. <laughs> I want to cut it. You like like you like the riches. Yeah, yeah mom, I'm trying to lose weight, boy. Anyway, all right. So, so over time. That's right. Okay, that's the same way it is with your spiritual walk. Yes. Yeah. All right. Every day. Uh huh. Just keep working. Yeah. Every day. Keep working. And before you know it, that thing you used to have an appetite for, you don't have an appetite for anymore. Well. And it just slowly works itself away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? And that's, that's what you got to do. Consistent. You got to be consistent. Yeah. Now, now, some of you older saints, some of you seven and six weeks, saints who've been in the church for a long time. That's it. All right? That don't mean you stop working out. Well, Because if you stop working out, it's much easier to get out of shape than it is to get in shape. That's it. That makes sense? Yeah. The same way it is with your spiritual walk. Same with your spiritual walk. It's much easier to stay in spiritual shape. I mean, to get out of spiritual shape than to stay in the spiritual shape. That's right. Now, if you get out of spiritual shape, all right, what's going to happen is that thing that you thought you was over uh -huh. is going to come back with a vengeance. Well, well. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. All right. You're here, and you are talking about the fact that you struggle. You have an issue. You don't know how you won't make it. You just wear it. That's okay too. Come down and ask the church to pray for you. The prayer you'll be at. The Bible says, "It is really for you." The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. I'll lay it much. Yes. Amen. So